Hello guys from Vittorio, Lazio Primavera made it. They won the final of the playoff 2-1 against PAL and are back in Serie A after just one year. It has been a crazy final because really Lazio dominated for 95 minutes. I'm not used to see a match like that, but still dominating for 95 minutes, still they find the goal, the winning goal, just in the last five minutes of the match. And it's strange because Lazio score immediately with Scafidi, but as we saw a lot of time the first team of Lazio doing, after they score, they allow immediately the other team, Spal in this case, to score the equalizer and it was back to, to square one. Plus, Spal played till the second goal of Lazio with 5-4-1. Very, very, very defensive tactic. I say Catenaccio's back. Spal was defending with 10 men and had only a, a striker there in front trying to find the chance when, the, when he had the ball. But really, 95 minutes in the half of Spal, pretty much all the match. And then again, Lazio has to complain for all the many chances they miss. And this is something I already told, told you about it. I think this team with a very good striker would have won the league easily because creates so many chances. But Capanni is not a center forward. He's a trequartista. And you can see it again today. He moves very well outside the box. But inside the box, he's not very good. He's an assist man more, more than a finalizer. Scafidi is more the center forward. He had... He scored today, he had two chances, another one in the second half, but then came out uh, for an injury and that was the moment when Lazio struggled a little bit. But I think in the first half Lazio had five good chances. Two with Scafidi, uh, two with Fabbo, who is a player I like, but in one of the chances Abucar was all in front of the goalkeeper. If he, instead of trying to score from outside, passed the ball to, to Abucar, maybe Lazio would have won it easier. But Abucar had another great chance. So five very good chances that Lazio missed. In the second half, the first 15 minutes was unbelievable. Lazio really was pushing hard and you got the impression that Spal couldn't defend, that they were struggling really, maybe a little bit tired and at the same time the skill, the ball skills of Lazio players was coming out. But again, very good chances, Scafidi, Abucar, uh, Capanni, they miss very very good chances. And then what happened? When you have so many chances, you know that you're going to allow the other team to have at least one chance. And this is what happened. Spina, that is probably one of the best players of Spal, uh, had a very good counter-attack. Lazio defense was a little bit out of position. And he arrived in front of uh, the goalkeeper, Alia, and, and shot. Luckily, the goalkeeper was able to deflect the ball. And then immediately afterwards, another great chance for, uh, uh, for Spal, who hit the head, who, who, who hit the par, sorry. And, you know, that could have ended the match. If, if Spal scored at that minute, well, it, it would have been really hard. But, as often happens in the Primavera, in this league's the type of football, an episode can change the match. And this is what happened. At the 85th minute, a free kick for Lazio. In the box, Capani was very good with the header. Put the ball in the box. The goalkeeper was a little bit surprised and was uh, moving backwards and wasn't able to send the ball away, it stayed in the goalkeeper box and Cebara, who scored the third goal against Lecce in the semi-final, was fast enough to be the first one going to the ball and scoring and that decided the match. So a little bit of mistakes, a mistake from the goalkeeper, very good header for Capanni, again he's a very good assist man, not a very good striker, but Lazio find a way to win the match and honestly should have deserved to win it 3-4-1. Again after the goal, Spal changed put two, two strikers in, uh, went down one man, so Lazio had the other two chances in the extra time and missed it again incredibly. But still, Lazio find a way to win this match and go back to Serie A. Um, I will do another video of evaluating about the players, but I will say that size is one of the players I'm really, really looking forward to see because he looks to be a very, very good player. Did you see the match? Who's your player of a match of this final? Write in the comment below and if you haven't subscribed then please subscribe to the channel. Bye!